And I am back, by the way. I assume I'm not at, like, okay, so Tiz has got 1 HP and everybody else is dead, so, uh, I'm gonna have to do something about that, sleep bed in or something. Um, it took me almost, like, uh, four minutes of real time to get out of there. It's a lot of running around. Um, yeah, Dimensions Hasp, I like the area, I like the idea. Although, the adventure, um, yeah. Uh, it, it's been well established that I don't know how to play this game, still. And, uh... I somehow suspect that even, even if I was slightly competent at fighting normal bosses in this game, that one would have been a bit of an issue. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go heal. Alright, hello you crazy people out there, this is Dragonite, and welcome back to Bravely Default. So in the last part, I failed at fighting the adventurer, and uh, in this part I'm not gonna fail at fighting the adventurer again, because I don't want to be sitting here until next Monday, and uh, instead I'm going to go continue on with the story a little bit and see what's at the end of this, uh, the Rende Tunnel place. That's where the exclamation point is anyway. The exclamation is pointing anyway. Um, funny how switching around just a couple letters in a sentence can completely change the meaning. It's not like as I tried saying earlier, uh, there are multiple exclamation points at the end of this tunnel. There's just this one. Oh, the things I say to fill that air. Let's go! Well, that doesn't look like the way it looked like last time. The Dark Aurora. It's probably Aerie's fault, or at least her voice actors. How do we? Look, a magic circle on the cliff's edge. It may offer a way in. All right, if everyone's ready, let's go after Aerie. I think that party chat qualifies as data to run for president of the United States right now, but <clears throat> this is not a political channel, so never mind. What is this? The Dark Aurora. Okay. I beseech you, oh Lord. You know I like doing bug form better, right? For the eleven hundred million years since I was fond of you, I have existed solely for your glory and Good, uh, this is a dungeon, and it looks like I'm going to get a chance to save sooner or later. Maybe. Um, there are treasure chests. Safety ring. Uh, I still have that, uh, that one job that lets me see treasure chests. I was thinking, like, right as that scene started playing, I might want to go and, uh, change all of those, that looks like a way forward, maybe, uh, back to normal, like, combat jobs, but while there are still, uh, things to explore in here, I guess that can wait. And I like the music down here. I have to say, I've been getting kind of tired of some of the music in the other locations because it's just so repetitive. Um, but I like the music down here. Hopefully there will be different, like, final boss music as well. Uh, three treasure chests. Uh, Luminous Tiara. I'm pretty sure I have one of those, and I'm pretty sure somebody called them, like, the best item in the game or something like that. Or one of the best helms in the game for, um, magic users or something along those lines. But, uh, this, if I can face it, is a life ring. Sounds like it should, I don't know, cast auto life or something at the beginning of battles. That would be fun. Or, for a little while, because we all know how fast and easy dying is. That is the way forward. Uh, looks like this loops around, but the last treasure chest, black belt. Alright, if it's anything like the item from Pokemon, or is the power of a monk type moves, or something like that. Let's see. I'm a Teeth. How many floors are there anyway? It is auto saving, I see that. Mega Elixir. Heart Ring, alright, so I think by giving me like so many Mega Elixirs, the game might be trying to tell me something, but. Never worry about that now. Um, this is a small area, it looks like I'm getting close to the end. Or. something like that. Uh. It also reminds me for some reason of the Distortion World. From Platinum. Cause, you know, I have to compare everything to Pokemon. 
Uh, there are two paths forward. And I have no idea which one I should take. One of them is gonna lead me, like, back to the beginning or something. Speaking of which, are teleport stones disabled in here also? They are not. Alright. Well, this one's uh, the first one I got to, so let's go see what it has to offer. That looks like the way forward. Oh no, this is just a side path. Alright, so that's a blood blade. No idea what that does. Um, the name sounds familiar, but I don't, like, recall ever using it. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Um, but okay, it, it is a good thing that I took that other one first, because uh, that was a side path. And I really hope that there's an adventurer down here to go along with that um, speech bubble thing. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go in circles a little bit before I can uh, get there. Another th another uh, set of lordly robes. Not bad. Uh, hmm. Two more, at least. I like treasure chests. Also, I haven't found, I don't think, a blue one yet. And I don't know, it seems like every dungeon in this game has a blue treasure chest, including, like, one on every floor of that, uh, Dimensions Hasp place that I was just in in the last video. But I don't know if that applies to this one also, because it's kind of a final area and stuff. Uh, we'll see. Uh, a good possibility space over there. A ribbon. Is that like the useless item in this game or something, or is that like something super powerful that looks like a joke but is actually the best equipped in the game? Um, it wouldn't surprise me if it's the, uh, the latter. Anyway. Where are we? I know I saw- alright, so we're back here, in the middle. <clears throat> uh, f uh, branching pa- oh my god, more. Cause I have to go and examine these. Please be good. There are three treasure chests. Still on the lookout for a blue one. Brave suit, so I think that's one for everybody. I think I have four brave suits now. I don't know if the items in that dungeon are- in the, um, Dimensions Hasp are randomly generated also. But, I don't know if that's on purpose that I have four brave suits now, and another Aegis shield. Okay. Uh... This goes somewhere. I'll probably have to come back here. Unless it loops around to the other, um... Yeah, okay, so it just looped around down here. Alright, let's go see what is in the one last treasure chest. And Taze, if you could run faster, that would be great. I have spent more time running around in dungeons, exploring dungeons, than I think I've done in the last, like, 30 videos of this playthrough. That is not blue, that is red. Lilith's Rod, alright, so I've got a couple of those also, I think. Um, let's see, back to the top. Are these, like, do these areas match up? Because I think, like, the two teleporter things don't line up. Um with that other floor. We'll see. Uh-oh, did I want to save? Oh, okay, so, um... That's where I just came from, but there's still more to this area. That wasn't the end, that was just like a intermediate cutscene sort of thing. No treasure chests, although this is an adventurer. Hello. While I'm here, I might as well finally go and have a look at all of these things that I picked up off the ground. A sword. Another sword. Drain ability. Accurate spear. Knuckles. Hmm. Well, the Earthbreaker is still the best thing that I have by quite a bit. Ribbon. Uh, defense for attack. Alright, so I can give that to a Dia at least. Er, who needs defense more? Tiz needs defense more. Why do you have- oh, you- For stealing, I have thief gloves. Um. Raise HP. By a lot. That's a thousand extra HP. Raise MP. 
I don't think I need the HP that ma that uh, badly. Where's the ribbon? Why is there no way to like sort these things alphabetically or something? Where's the ribbon? Oh wait, that was a hat. I think the ribbon's in here and the gold hairpin lowers MP consumption. Mmm. It's a very strange noise that I made, but. <clears throat> Defense up a little, magic attack up a little, magic defense up a little. Hmm. There's no point in giving him anything that isn't a staff, right? No flies dread. I don't know if I'm gonna have to, if I'm gonna want that for a, uh, any battle coming up. Um. Final boss Uruboros is something that does sound like it would uh, have a lot to do with Dread. Nullifies most status elements. Alright, as a... Hmm. As a healer. I think we're gonna want that. Let's see. Um... Lordly robes raise these stats a little bit, but Brave Suit does give me BP. Alright, I, th I think I'm going to stick that on everybody. Magic attack down, don't really care. Magic defense down, that could be problematic, but I'm gonna risk it. Uh, that's also going to raise my magic attack. Alright. Well, everybody's wearing brave herbs because I'm creative. Um, what was this? Life ring, extra HP. My two uh, physical attackers, I don't think I want uh, to have HP for attack, but greatly raises magic defense. Percentage-wise, alright. That's percentage-wise more than it would have been for Tiz. So I'm gonna give that to uh, the life to Idea. <clears throat> alright. Anything else? Don't have any better shields. Um, the performer does not care about attacking, like, at all. So I'm just gonna give her two shields. I don't have that one ability that lets you attack with shields, but... Speaking of abilities, I should probably go and configure these a little bit also. Give me a minute. Alright, so this is what I have now. <clears throat> um, and yes, is now holding an axe. That's to go with the axe lore slash two-handed thing. It'll raise her attack quite a lot compared to having a bow, uh, even for a ranger. But, let's see. Anything else that's rather interesting? Max enemy two-handed damage dispersion. I do like my damage dispersion. Um, I think that's all the major changes I made. Pretty much if I... Uh, wasn't sure what to give somebody, I just went with HP, because HP is always nice. Uh, I am expecting to have to do this battle a couple times, so I'm going to save here. Um, do I need to buy items? I don't have a whole ton of money, but I don't think I need to buy items. Let me go and check that also. Yeah, I don't really need anything by way of items, so... Let's go to the end of this dungeon and finally see if we can uh, get rid of this very annoying fairy voice actor. I'm not sure what's more annoying, the character or the voice, but we can, uh, we can think about that later. Terrible eldritch power courses through my This is the power of my lord, Aurorus! <laughs> 